Today I have something to share with you that is very important to me as a dog trainer. I didn't want to do this video, it didn't seem right at first, but now that I've had a few people and a few of you guys ask me about my feelings on the whole Zach George situation, this whole thing with Zach George and taking his dog to a dog park isn't the real issue here. The main issue that I'm concerned about is how volatile and how much we tear each other down on social media, as dog trainers particularly. I'm I'm saddened to see where our dog training industry has become. There's a running joke where if you put five dog trainers in a room, the thing that they can all agree on is what each other is doing wrong. It seems like the dog training world has become a bunch of cliques like in high school. We aren't doing any justice for dogs when we are fighting with one another. Zach George did a fantastic job posting a react video on basically what people were saying. And I totally agree with him that we need to be open to criticism. That is important. And that's not what I'm saying here. I think that there is a place for constructive criticism and, and that is important, but there's a difference in constructive criticism and just plain out bullying and shaming and just the viciousness and the vicious cycle that I see on social media. You should really check out Zach George's React video and also his first video as well. And I wanna take a moment and just say to you guys how important I think Zach George has been to the dog training world. And if anybody can agree with me on that, let me know. I just think that Zach George on a weekly basis has been giving us free content for almost like 10 years now. He has hundreds of videos and he's helped millions of people grow closer to their dogs and understand their dogs more. This one video that's a bit subjective and everyone hanging him out to dry and telling him what he's doing wrong versus supporting him and telling him what he's doing right is just mind boggling to me. And I know that's just the internet, right? But I know that's not all of you guys. And I hope that the people here on the Doggy Dojo community aren't there as well. I have really been adamant that we're open and we're honest and we show our flaws and mistakes when it comes to dog training particularly as dog trainers. We're not perfect people and our dogs aren't perfect. So mistakes are bound to happen. There's a few more things that are really important, particularly those that are positive reinforcement trainers. If you don't like somebody on the internet, you don't have to comment on their stuff. You don't have to share their stuff. In fact, just ignore it. Just completely move by it and take time to reinforce or Focus in on the trainers that you super enjoy and you're proud of and you want to support because those are the trainers that need it. I'm a big Gary Vaynerchuk fan and he talks about making positivity louder. We need to make positivity louder. We need to stop wasting time commenting, sharing, or disliking videos that we don't enjoy or people that we don't agree with and we need to start supporting the people we agree with and the people that we want to have a louder voice because those are the people that want you to comment. Those are the people that want you to share and to like their videos. Go support the people that you do like. And if you can't find somebody that you like, then start making content on your own and start sharing your voice and your message because that is gonna be more important than anything else out there. More important than that one comment you put on somebody's video, more important than that one share and that one dislike button make content. It doesn't take very long to do and it's so important that us dog trainers take our industry to the next level by just being open and honest and doing what Zach George is doing and sharing his life with his dog Inertia. When his dog did get upset, he worked around and tried to figure out how he could redeem the situation, how his dog could, how he could help his dog recover from that situation. And I think that's great and we all need to learn those, those situations because it's what would have been way easier for Zach to remove or not post that video at all. I'm sure he has tons of footage and he has lots of videos he films every single week and he's choosing to show everything and be an open book. So I want us to encourage Zach and encourage other dog trainers to do the same because the more honest, the more open we are with one another, the more we're going to learn. Think about your actions and what it's going to do by being positively punishing to other dog trainers that is not gonna change the world for a better place. That is not gonna help another dog be a better dog. It's just gonna tear down our industry and it's gonna unprofessionalize it. It's gonna look like we're a bunch of high school children trying to fight with one another. Get out there, 
show your stuff. Do you film you training your dog and post that on the internet and have the guts to do that because I guarantee you that is what is going to change our industry for the better is by being honest and showing people how to get the work done and how to train their dog. Given a call out there right now, I've been part of the dog training world for a while. I've been doing it since I was six years old and I've worked with some amazing people and I think this is the moment right now that I am calling every single one of you and saying, let's be the change in our dog training industry. If you're with me and you wanna be the change in the dog training industry, please comment change or something and I am with you guys and let me know how I could support you and we are here together. That is all I say right now and that is all I care about. I care for more that our dog training industry coming together and stop this fighting and stop this mess. Thank you for watching here on the Doggy Dojo. This is a totally different tone than I ever do. And I don't do these videos. I'm not a controversial person, but this is something I feel like I had the responsibility to say. For being in the industry for over 20 years and the 4,000 subscribers that are here on this channel, you need to know where I stand. And I hope you guys agree with me. And if not, that's okay. And life will move on. And I will keep on going. And I will keep training dogs. And I will keep posting videos. And I will keep showing you guys how to grow closer to canine companions every single day. As always, guys, have some fun with your dogs, and we'll see y'all next time.